So to summarize, you recommend in a in a in a spicy way that only Yan Lacoon can, you recommend that we abandon generative models in favor of joint embedding architectures. Yes. Abandon autoregressive generation. Yes. Abandon prob <laughs> this feels like court testimony. Uh, abandon probabilistic models in favor of energy based models, as we talked about. Abandon contrastive methods in favor of regularized methods. And uh, let me ask you about this. You've been for a while a critic of reinforcement learning. Yes. So one, uh, the last recommendation is that we abandon RL in favor of mo model predictive control, as you were talking about, and only use RL when planning doesn't yield the pr predicted outcome. And uh, we use RL in that case to adjust the world model or the critic. Yes. So uh, you have mentioned uh, RLHF, reinforcement learning with human feedback. Uh, why do you still hate uh, reinforcement learning? I don't hate reinforcement learning, and I think, it, love. Yes. I, th I think it should not be uh, abandoned completely, mm -hmm. but I think it, its use should be minimized because it's incredibly inefficient in terms of samples. And so the, the proper way to train a system is to first have it learn uh, good representations of the world and world models from mostly observation, maybe a little bit of interactions, and then steered based on that. If the representation is good, then the adjustments should be minimal. Yeah, now there's two things. You can use, if you've learned a world model, you can use the world model to plan a sequence of actions to arrive at a particular objective. Mm -hmm. You don't need RL, unless the way you measure whether you succeed might be inexact. Your idea of you know whether you were gonna fall from your bike might be wrong, or whether the person you're fighting with MMA who's going to do something and then do something else. Um, so there, uh, so there's two ways you can be wrong. Either your, your objective function does not reflect the actual objective function you want to optimize, or your world model is inaccurate, right? So you didn't, you, the prediction you were making about what was going to happen in the world is inaccurate. So if you want to adjust your world model while you are operating the world, or your objective function, that is basically in the realm of RL. This is what RL deal, deals with uh, to some extent, right? So adjust your world model. And the way to adjust your world model, even in advance, uh, is to explore parts of the space where your world model, where you know that your world model is inaccurate. That's called curiosity, basically, or play, right? When you play, you kind of explore parts of the state space that, um, you know, you don't want to do in for real because it might be dangerous, but uh, but you can adjust your world model uh, without killing yourself, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that's what you want to use RL for. When, when, when it comes time to learning a particular task, you already have all the good representations, you already have your world model, but you, want, you need to adjust it for the situation at hand. That's when you use RL. Why do you think RLHF works so well? this reinforcement learning with human feedback, why did it have such a transformational effect on large language models that came so what, before? What's had the transformational effect is human feedback. Mm -hmm. There is many ways to use it, and some of it is just purely supervised, actually. It's not really reinforcement learning. So it's the, a, <laughs> the HF. It's the HF. Yeah. Uh, and then there is various ways to use human feedback, right? So you can, uh, you can ask humans to rate answers, mm -hmm. uh, multiple answers that are produced by uh, World model, and uh, and and then what you do is you train an objective function to predict that rating, and then you can use that objective function to predict you know whether an answer is good, and you can backpropagate gradient through this to fine tune your system so that it only produces high, highly rated answers. Okay, so that's one way. So that's like in RL that means uh, training what's called a reward model, right? Uh, so something that, you know, basically a small neural net that estimates to what extent an answer is good, right? It's very similar to the objective I was I was talking about or talking about earlier for planning, except now it's not used for planning, it's, it's used for fine-tuning your system. I think it would be much more efficient to use it for planning, but um, <laughs> but but uh, currently it's used to uh, fine-tune the parameters of the system. Now, there, there's several ways to do this. Um, you know, some of, some of them are supervised. You just, you know, ask... A human person, like, what is a good answer for this, right? And you just 
type the answer. Um, uh, I mean, there's, there's lots of ways that those systems are, are being adjusted.